Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I thought that I would do a get ready with me video since I haven't done one in a very long time. Now this place where I'm filming right now is not the greatest lighting but I do apologize but I wanted to sit here and just chit chat with you guys and yeah that's just what I wanted to do today. I had some time on my hands so let's just get started. Now I decided that I'm going to use the Anastep, sorry, <laughs> I decided I'm going to use the uh, Tamiana Anastasia palette and I did feature this in my um, monthly favorites so I thought I would create a look for you guys and I've just been really enjoying it. The colors are super pretty so I'm not sure what kind of look I'm going to do today. I'm just going to kind of go with it which I normally do every single day. Now I already did my foundation, my primer and my eyebrows. So for foundation of course I use my NARS Sheer Glow. I am doing the five pan challenge and this is what I chose to use up. I'm doing quite well. I'm still really enjoying this foundation. I like it. I don't think I'll ever get sick of it. So and it's perfect for me right now in the winter time. Underneath that I did use the uh, Pores No More and this is also one of the five that I wanted to use up and I just I love this stuff. So keeps me matte all day. And for my brows, I used the Maybelline Define a Brow in Dark Blonde with um, the Milani Clear uh, Brow Gel to set that. Now, so I'm gonna start off with the eyes. Now, I already also primed my eyelids with the Urban Decay uh, Primer, but I also like to use Max Soft Ochre. So that is what I'm gonna do today. I just use my my fingers, but I'm just going to apply that just above the brow bone. What are you guys doing this weekend? I'm actually doing this on a Saturday right now. It's Saturday, I would say around like 12. I had to go meet the kitchen guy from my kitchen at my house, so this is Caviar Stick by Laura Mercier and this is just a little mini size for the holidays. They are selling a pack of four. I have a picture on my Instagram with them if you guys are interested. But this is in the color Rose Gold. I'm just going to apply that all over the lids for a base. And I did use this once already and I love it. It goes on so nicely and so smoothly. I'm just going to just blend that out with my finger a little bit. Um, you can wear this on its own as well but... Um, I'm just going to use it just to, um, what's the word that I want to say, make my eyeshadows pop a little bit more. And it's a good way to try certain things from a line. And I've always wanted to try the caviar sticks, so I was going to buy a full size one and try, but um, I seen that they were selling these, so I thought it was a good deal. The sun keeps coming in and out. I hope you guys can see this, but it's okay. I wanted to chit chat with you guys. So I have this Sonia Kashuk set that I had purchased a while back and I haven't even used it yet. So I thought that it would be fun to use it in this video. This way you guys can get an idea if they're good brushes or not. Um, personally, I like the Sonia Kashuk line. I think she's got a great line. Uh, of brushes and I haven't really been disappointed with any of her brushes so let's use some of the um, eye brushes here now these are not numbered or anything I'm gonna use this big fluffy crease brush okay and we're gonna take let me see we'll take this um, neutral shade right here and just use that as a transition color just bear with me guys it has been so long <laughs> since I've done a video well a talk through video anyways and you guys seem to really like these types of videos so I thought it would be nice to do this color is really nice so far I really like this brush it's going on really nicely it's blending out the colors but the colors in here in general are really smooth and blend really nicely so mm -hmm. 
My son is watching Power Rangers. No, sorry, he was watching Power Rangers. Now he's watching um, <sighs> planes. He likes planes, he likes cars. He used to be really into trains. Now he's back into trains again. But when he was little, that's all he wanted to play with. So I'm happy he's into other things too. This is a really pretty color in the crease. It's really nice. It's warm, it's not a cool tone color, which I prefer. I'll probably just keep the eyes pretty neutral today. I'm not really going anywhere. I don't know, we, we'll see. So let's take a eyeshadow brush. So we'll take this one right here. It's just a flat eyeshadow brush. And I'm gonna take this color uh, Gilted, which is one of my favorite shades in the palette. It's just a really nice, kind of a taupey beige. It's got a bit of gold to it. Really pretty. And we're just gonna apply that all over the eyes. So what types of videos do you guys want to see next? Let me know in the comments. I'm always up for some ideas. And I want to do some videos that you guys want to see, obviously, because that's why you're subscribed to my channel, right? Um, so let me know in the comments what you guys have in mind. And yeah, no. this is such a pretty color, guys. I just, I can't get enough of it. It's my favorite. We are going to take a crease brush now. And let's use Sangria, which is kind of a warm, kind of like a berry plum shade. And we'll, I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'm just gonna, let's pop it on the outer corners and bring it into the crease a little bit. Sorry if I'm making a funny face. I hope I'm not making a funny face. I think we all make funny faces when we're putting our makeup on anyways, right? Just add a little bit more. This is a really nice color too. So do you guys have this palette? Uh, do you have the Amorezzi palette? I want to know the difference between the two. I, I mean, I'm, they seem to be the same quality from the reviews that I've seen, so... Okay, let's go back with the fuff, fuffy. <laughs> let's go back with the big blending brush and just blend that out and get rid of any harsh lines. Okay, well now we're gonna go in with chocolate with this uh, pencil brush from the set. And we'll just deepen out the corner a little bit more. And we'll just keep it on the outer corner, make a little V, and then we'll blend it out after. So I don't know if you guys wanna know a story. Um, so we had a family member that had passed on and I had picked up my kids from my mother-in-law's house. And the weirdest thing had happened. We were driving home and I do live like on an acreage, on a half acre. So we have to drive on the highway from the city. So um, a big rock hit the passenger side, not sorry, the driver's side. My husband was driving and thank God it actually hit the uh, front window and not the back because I had both kids in the uh, back. So it completely just shattered, like completely just shattered everywhere. And I'm just so thankful that that rock didn't, um, didn't hurt my kids, so. Somebody was watching out for me. I do believe um, it was my grandmother actually watching out because what are the what are the chances, right? That's never happened to me before. <laughs> What's my son doing? We're gonna take this color called Custom, and we'll just use this color to kind of blend the colors in the crease. So yeah, it was pretty scary, and I mean, we were coming home from a funeral as well, so. I mean, we weren't expecting anything like that to happen. And the sound of the rock actually hitting the window was so loud. It actually, it sounded like a car was hitting our, our vehicle, not a rock hitting the window. So 
yeah. Anyways, I thought I would just share you guys that story. So we're gonna highlight the brow bone. So we're gonna go in with fresh and just highlight underneath there. It's a really nice highlight color. I feel like it has a bit of a sheen to it, but it's it's matte, but. And then we'll just bring it right down right here. I like to just to highlight right in there a little bit. So if you guys ever built a house before, all, from the experience that I have with it, I'm not going to be building for a very long time. Everybody says, well, I mean, you say that now, but eventually you might want to move again. I'm like, no, like that, that's it for me, especially with my husband. No way. He is worse than a woman. He doesn't, he can't make up his mind. He's changing it, changing his mind like every single minute. It's not gonna happen. I'm gonna move into my house and I'm gonna stay there for as long as I can. Probably till my kids are on their own and then I'll probably like move into like a condo or something. That's my plan anyways. Okay, moving on. We are gonna use this Gosh Cosmetics liner. It's a waterproof liner in black ink. This stuff doesn't budge. Once it's on, it sets. It's it's really nice. I really like it. But I'm gonna do this off camera because I cannot see. Okay, so my eyeliner is on now. I went to Walmart about, I would say about a few weeks ago and I noticed they had a display of the Flower Cosmetics. And we here in Canada actually don't have the flower cosmetics and they didn't have much. They only had, um, they had a few lip glosses and they had mascara. And I think they had like um, some shadow bases and that was pretty much it. But I seen this mascara and you guys all know I love the, the bourgeois twist up the volume mascara and this is actually very similar to that so I wanted to see if it would compare so that's what we are going to do today. So it's kind of like a first impressions I guess. So what what is this called? This is the Zoom In Ultimate Mascara and this is in the color Intense Black. So it says twist three in one. So let's give this a go. So there's the wand, it's like a plastic type wand, which I never used to be a fan of, I'm just getting used to it now. And then you can twist it from the top here, and I'm assuming that's what builds the volume. So let's start off with the long side first. Okay, well so far I feel like it's grabbing my lashes, I don't normally curl my lashes just because I'm really, really lazy. <laughs> and it's just an extra step for me to do, so I never really do it. So that is one layer and it actually looks pretty good. So let's twist this guy and let's see what it does, the second coat. Well, I do feel like it's lengthening. I feel like I'm getting some volume. It's separating my lashes quite nicely. So yeah, so far, I like it. The formula is not too wet. It's not too dry. There. I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but I actually, so far, I like it. I normally have to use things more than once to see if I actually really love it, but so far I like it. Okay, now we are going to go ahead and do concealer. So let's use one of these brushes here for concealer. What can I use? Let's just use this flat foundation brush, which I'm not the biggest fan of using these, but we'll give it a go today. And I'll be using the Remel Wake Me Up concealer, and this is in the color Very Light. I like it. I don't hear a lot of people talk about it. It was in my favorites as well. It blends really nicely. I don't feel like it brings out my fine lines at all, so. 
And I, I, I am using the, the NYX HD concealer, which I love, but I just feel like that stuff just runs out so fast. Do you guys have that same problem? Yeah. I just do an upside triangle, and this is pretty much what I'm gonna do today. So uh, we're gonna use this brush and see how it performs. Yeah, so far it feels, it's not bad. Like I said, this is not my favorite brush to use for under the eyes, but I wanna see how these brushes perform so you guys get an idea. I don't know if you could still get your hands on these brushes, not sure. This is the first time I'm using them, so, and I've had it for so long. I always do my foundation first, just, I like it to kind of settle into my skin first before I add powder. So that's why I like to do it first and then I'll start in my eyes and then I'll use powder to set it after, so. I feel like my son keeps going on the couch and I'm constantly taking him down and then he goes back up. My house is a very busy house, especially with two boys. Now I'm gonna set the under eyes. I normally use the Sigma one, but uh, I'll just give this brush a try. I think this is their blush brush, but I'll use it to set underneath, underneath my eyes. And I'm just gonna use this light shade right here, which I've been using every single day, so. And I'm just gonna pack, pack, <laughs> pat that in, not pack it in. And I like this color because it has a bit of yellow and the lighter tone to it, so I feel like it brightens up my eyes, but it actually covers really nicely too. Okay, and then we are going to set the foundation with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Medium, and I believe this is another one of my 5 pan challenge. Yeah, no, it is because I use it every single day. And I'll use the big powder brush. This looks like a very interesting brush. It's kind of flatter. It's not too fluffy, so you could probably use it to kind of contour as well. But I'm just going to set my whole face. Now we're going to bronze up the face a little bit with my Bobbi Brown's uh, bronzing powder in golden light and I'm gonna use this big powder brush again and I'm just gonna use it to warm up my face I love this bronzer I don't think I'll ever get sick of this bronzer I really don't it's just so natural it's so smooth I just I just can't get enough of it and then we'll do the three I like to just do the three This brush is actually really soft. I'm actually quite impressed with it. I guess I could give. Okay, now we're gonna go back in with the Smashbox contour palette, and we're gonna take the color contour, and I'm just gonna add it in the hollows of my cheeks just to define my cheekbones a little bit. And I'm gonna take the NARS Eda brush and yeah, we're gonna put it about right here. I like to do like the fish face and just add it right there. This brush is amazing. This is a really nice contour color because it's a bit ashy so just gives a nice natural shadow. So now we're going to add some blush. I'm going to use Chanel Jersey. It's just a really pretty nat natural, kind of a neutral blush. It's got a bit of like some peach to it. So we are going to use that today. I love the smell. I love the smell of Chanel blushes. They're amazing. And this is such a pretty color. Um, it doesn't have a lot of pigmentation to it, but you can build up the color, which is nice because sometimes 
you know, you don't want to add too much. I rather gradually put it on. And I normally, whatever's left over in my brush, I'll just bring it up to my forehead and down the bridge of my nose. And that's how I finish off my blush. Okay, we're gonna go back onto the eyes and just finish off the eyes uh, just underneath there. So I'm gonna go back in with chocolate with the pencil brush and just run that at the bottom lash line. This is actually a really nice pencil brush. I like it. Yeah, this just finishes off the look. I'm just gonna take this, I don't even know what they call this. I'm just gonna take this brush. It doesn't have any product on it, but I'm just gonna blend that color underneath. I think this is like a big eyeshadow brush. We're gonna take Max um, I call in Teddy and we're just going to put that in our waterline and I oh, I love this color. I was going to say a word on here that I wasn't supposed to. It just really brings out my brown eyes. And I like using it instead of a black liner. And let's not forget to do our bottom lashes. So let's put a little bit of mascara. Never used to do this step, but I love doing it now. I feel like if I don't do it, it's my look is not complete. Um, what else are we gonna do? What am I forgetting? Oh, I want to do a highlight. So we're gonna do Bobbi Brown Sandstone. Of course, I love this highlighter. It's so so pretty. Oh man, you know what? I should have I should have used this brush to do the contour, and I totally didn't. I don't know what I was thinking. But I will give this a try and I'll let you guys know if it's good. I'll use this kind of, I think it's, it feels like a stiffling brush, but I don't know. We'll just use this brush to highlight. Such a pretty highlight. We're gonna do the inner corner as well. And a little bit on the Cupid's bow. For lips today, I decided to go with Cream in Your Coffee by MAC. This color is, I love it. But we are gonna outline the lips with this Clinique Tender Taupe. This is a really dark lip liner, so it's almost like contouring your lips, which I like to do. So I'm just going to outline my lips with this first. Okay, then let's take cream in your coffee. It's not pretty. I don't know if you guys watched my September October favorites, but when I was editing, I said the word pretty like so many times that I had to edit it out. Yeah. This color kind of reminds me of Max Del Rio, but a lighter version. It's really pretty. So here is the finished look. I really like the way it came out and I'm in love with this lipstick cream in your coffee. I've been pretty much obsessed with it for the past three days or so. And yeah, I just, I love it. And I really like the cream sheen finishes by MAC. If you guys enjoyed this video and you like these talk through videos, then just please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on any videos and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.